Hi there, it's Darlene. I hope you're having a good day, evening, whatever. <laughs> um, so I was just noticing again, Saturday morning, I didn't have to wake up early this last Saturday. What was I missing? The infinity Zoom call didn't happen again. So again, people in infinity were promised to have, okay, yeah, you got to do it yourself, but we're going to support you. We're going to have weekly Zoom calls. Yeah, they had two, and now it's been two weeks without. And on that second week, you know, Jonas at the end of it promised they would be having weekly Zoom calls, or maybe at least three out of four weeks of the month. And here he's already missed two. Do you want to know why? He's out affiliate marketing, one of Philip Johansson's big ticket items, you know, so he's, I don't know. And I don't know if he's part of it, helping there with them or not, but yeah, he's busy now. So off he goes, just like what happened in Project Limitless. It's so sad. Anyways, I'm wondering too, if you got, I, I know that a lot of people are getting their refunds back now. And I, I would just love to hear from you guys. Like, do tell me, you know, just say, hey, yeah, I got my, um, you know, whichever refund, uh, RFP, Infinity, um, and say maybe um, whether you got it through PayPal, your credit card, your bank, you don't have to say which one, like which bank or which credit card, just, yeah, I got it through PayPal, yeah, I got it through my bank, and then if you noticed anything like it went through fast or it went slow or I had to say this or that, any tips that you might want to leave for others coming up behind you. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, and you know what's also been awesome is thank you so much for your um, donations. I have been really appreciating them. So it's a small and slow trickle, but it's there and I appreciate it. <laughs> so if anybody would like to donate to keeping this channel going, because I'm not doing affiliate marketing while I'm doing this, so um, there's a donation link at the top of the comments and in the description. So really we do appreciate that. Also, please like and subscribe. And I know everybody says that, but it really, really does make a difference to the to the to where this channel ranks. So we can keep this stuff up, stuff up in front of Jonah, Jono. Um, so tonight I'm going to be talking about basically how Jono has been progressively making these refunds harder and harder and harder to get since April of 2020. And I'm going to go through, well, this is just his last big one before Ministry of Freedom. Then I'm going to go through Ministry of Freedom, Prometheus, and then Infinity, and showing how he has been messing with these refund policies since Ministry of Freedom. And this is like fraud, fraud, and fraud. Now, the lockdown formula is just annoying. <laughs> I mean, well, in many, many different ways, actually. It just shows Jono's scuzzy, dirty tactics. Now, as I mentioned, this came about in um, April of 2020, which was eight months before Ministry of Freedom. So this is um, basically profiteering off of the COVID crisis, you know. <sighs> People, it was just building on people's COVID fears. And it was so unethical and scungy exploiting people because of their fears during COVID. You know, ew. And you can just see it right here. And then, oh, the picture down below is a guy with a big uh, face mask on. Some looks almost like a, yeah, it's weird. And then... How to quickly turn your spare time into daily passive income without any previous experience. And then the proclamation on declaring a national emergency concerning the novel coronavirus disease outbreak. Novel? Anyways, there he is again. And it's all throughout the entire advertising. You know how long these sales pages are, you know, and it's just throughout. Um, sowing that fear, that concern and We've got you covered, basically. Desperate times call for common sense measures. Current world events, events are scarier than the movies. COVID-19 isn't just a nightmare. It's a real-life horror. Right. You know, so again, seeding fear to get people to buy. Hmm. So I bought it. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And every single one of its flipping up cells too. I actually did. I thought I liked the product. And it was more than just that malarkey. But well, yeah, and it did because it did affect me that way because yeah, I did want to make sure I could have an have an income going forward. But guess what? The thing turned out being to just being being basically um, a landing page builder, which is nothing. I mean, if you have nobody that's going to see that landing page, you're not going to make any money with it. Right. So <laughs> it was just BS from the get go. However, look, at we have a 100 percent money back guarantee. You know, invest with confidence knowing your low one time cost for access is completely covered. That's actually an important thing to note. Your low one-time cost for access is completely covered. And then bloody bloody blah 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 risk-free and we'll refund your purchase in full. It doesn't get more fair than that. Except it notice that it says your low one-time cost for access is completely covered. You see, it's always a word game in these freaking um guarantees. You really gotta Read them with a really jaded eye like I am now. But you know what that low one-time cost is? It's the front end, and that's all. I mean, all the marketers that I've been ever buying from on Warrior Plus, they'll have a guarantee on the front end and on each and every um, OTO that you come to, each upsell. No, not this guy. And I didn't notice that there wasn't a guarantee on the upsells. So, and the front ends, well, you know, front end products from Warrior Plus, they're like anywhere from nine to eighteen dollars. That's it, you know. So, who can't afford that, you know? But that is a low one time cost, and that's all that was covered. Oh, and it was $9.95. So you can see here on my Warrior Plus um, dashboard, when I go to my purchases, we can see the bottom, the lockdown formula for $9.97, refunded. And then go the next four squares above it, lockdown formula OTO1, OTO2, OTO34, and look at 27, 37, 47, 97. I got no coaching. Um, the done for you setup was like two months coming. And... It's just crazy. Uh, there's there's no way I would be a reseller of that product either. It's just crazy. So, yeah. Yeah. So I got $10 back from that because of that stupid little wording that how would anybody ever get that? You know? Ah. Anyways. So then we get to Ministry of Freedom. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions actually now from people, um, if they can do chargebacks, uh, for Ministry of Freedom or Prometheus. And I'm going to show you, um, I think if a person wanted to get their money back for either of those programs under fraud, I think they'd have a good shot at it. And that's just my opinion. I mean, what have you got to lose? <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained, but I'll tell you about it anyways. Now this is one thing though. This is in the um, sales pages, This the next few slides here. And I had actually forgotten about this because I was in Ministry of Freedom as well, right? So you guys rock. Jono, Jonas, and Dave. So another scammy little product, big product, high ticket product. And look who's in it together again. Jono and Jonas. They do travel as a pack a lot, don't they? And I don't remember who Dave is. <laughs> Immaterial. <laughs> Next. Come on. There. Okay, over on the left-hand side, just showing you my results after joining, created by Jono and his team, Jonas and Dave. So again, there's another Jonas and Dave, or Jono and Jonas. On the right, thank you, Jono and Jonas and Dave. Uh, they, it's just amazing. Oh, and then, oh yes, Trevor Carr. I mean... Remember Jonas and Trevor with Project Limitless? So Jonas went from Ministry of Freedom, then he did Project Limitless. Now he's on to Infinity. He's always there kind of behind the scenes where you don't see him. He's right behind the marketer. But I know that Project Limitless and Infinity were both his projects. Now we've got Trevor Carr. He was the lead for, he was the big marketer, as I mentioned, on Project Limitless. Um, 
And here he's saying, I broke through 200,000 in vendor sales yesterday, not showing off. And he's saying that he did it through Ministry of Freedom. He's a mar- he, was a, he was a well-established marketer when Ministry of Freedom came out. I mean, this is so much BS. And there's other marketers in there giving their testimonials too. And then if you look under uh, Trevor Carr's picture, you've got Mo, and he was one of he's one of the lecturers there. Um, and he's saying, "Oh, you only joined four days ago, and these are my results." He obviously, you know, he, he already knew affiliate marketing. He was making money. So again, yeah. So Ministry of Freedom, Jono and Jonas, Infinity, Jono and Jonas. Project Limitless, uh, Trevor Carr, and Jonas. Jonas really gets around. But, you know, he's always in the background. He always seems like such a nice guy. But anyways. So let's review the promises here of what was supposed to happen in Ministry of Freedom. (laughs) 45 minutes a day. Easy. Stop making someone else rich. Finally get the freedom you deserve. Okay. Okay. And it's not supposed to cost you any money to do it. I mean, once you've paid for the course, of course. Um, but once you're in there, it's not supposed to cost you any money. This is bullshit. I mean, right off, you have to buy um, a camera and a microphone. Well, you don't have to. They'll say, well, yes, it can be good enough if you do it that way. But, you know, really, it's going to be low quality and you should do better than that. Well, and that's true. But it does cost money. And I'll tell you, the costs just keep on coming in and coming in and coming in. So launch jacking for seven days and you're supposed to make $600. It's not going to happen because what happened is they loosed like a ton of students out onto YouTube and we were all busily posting um, these little review videos that were just copy and paste of the demo videos in the uh, JV page. So you had all these out there and it's like, (laughs) I mean, who's going to pick you to buy your stuff, right? You have and you have no way of 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 driving traffic to your video, so it's absolutely hopeless. Okay, and that's supposed to be for seven days and make six hundred bucks. Like no, then you're supposed to launch a licensed product. What? So this is like a product that I can sell on Warrior Plus myself. Now to do this, you're supposed to go to Udemy and buy a course from there. Or go to somewhere like Code Canyon and buy in, say, a Word, WordPress plugins and sell them. However, you still have to buy the things, right? So it's not as free as you think it is. I mean, to get a white label um, plugin or white label Udemy course, it costs, you know. And then it's sending copy paste emails, okay, and then Google Automation for 30 days. You know what that's all about is paid advertising. Note the word paid. And yeah, people spent a lot of money on that. And then I also saw where someone spent so much money on um, Webinar Jam so that they could do webinars. Like, oh my God. And then I know Jonah was pressing people to go into ClickFunnels. And that's another one where he would have got a decent commission off of it. And just think, people out there probably still have click funnels. They're still making Jono money off of that. But yeah, there are a lot of extra costs. Oh, and then part of the sales pitch too was you wouldn't even have to do it yourself because you can get a virtual private assistant. Well, a virtual private assistant is an actual human being. Now, Jono tells you to go through the Philippines because they're much cheaper there. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Um, but still, you have to pay them. I, I mean, he'll, he'll show you how to get one, how to use one, blah, blah, blah. You still have to pay one. So these these non-expenses really started to really get up there. And then here's all of the promises. You get results or we pay you. Specifically, this profit guarantee states that you'll profit a minimum of $10,000 free and clear within the next 60 days. That's net profit after expenses. Uh, I didn't see them any, putting any expenses in that timeline. But if for some reason something goes wrong, something wildly unanticipated occurs, and you don't have the kind of success that you've seen from every MOF user shown here today, I will immediately refund every penny of your investment and pay you $10,000 on top of that. Wow. That's really easy. You know, and it would be too. But then eh, different wording keeps creeping in as we go along. 
rock solid. In fact, I sign a binding contract when you join that stipulates that I'll hold uphold this $10,000 profit guarantee. So with that in place, you're completely covered either way. Okay, still good. Either way, you win. Qualification. Ah. To qualify for this profit guarantee, all you have to do, do is do a little bit of work and you make 10000 k minimum within the next 60 days. Does this change things for you? Knowing that as long as you take your responsibility, hold up your end of the deal, you're going to be $10,000 richer at least in the next 60 days. Oh, now we're getting an inkling that maybe something might be more involved than that. As long as you take your responsibility to hold up your end of the deal. What does that mean? You know, but I mean, how many of us would have just glossed right over that? You know, of course, you well, of course, I'm going to hold up my end of the deal. You know, I'm going to take courses, do all that. <laughs> you should see what it entails. Um, also, here's what I've been saying that you don't, you're not supposed to have to buy anything once you get in there. Are there other investment require, investments required after I register? None at all. You can use the purely free tools we recommend to get started making money with Cornerstone One. Well, again, it's not going to be free to put up that first course. That's, that, that's just, that's the way it is. So here's where they're making all of these false promises, Right. And here, yeah, make a choice now. Option one, try to give it a go yourself and, and ultimately screw it all up and never, you're never going to make it. Option number two, making money with these strategies, you know, buying a Ministry of Freedom. No hard work. We've done all the testing for you. Well, yeah, they've done the testing, but there's a ton of hard work. Oh my God. Have full trust that these strategies will work because they are proven already. Well, yeah, they're proven, but when, when the market wasn't oversaturated with little wannabe affiliate marketers out there, it, it was doomed. It, it really was doomed from the beginning. And I actually saw that fairly soon on, but thought, oh, well, Jonah knows what he's doing. Let's keep on. Yeah, Jonah does know what he's doing. Yeah. So full access to a vibrant community of winners and just copy them now and start seeing sales today. Wow, today. So it's going to happen that fast. Yeah, there's no way it could happen that fast. So again, I mean, if a person was going to go for a chargeback, I mean, here are all these promises that were made that are completely false. And I'm about to show you that. So this is First of all, though, it's product not as described because that's how people are getting money back from the infinity system. It's fraud. And the two things you claim under are product not as described. Well, look at how this was described. I mean, uh, no expenses, you know, how fast it was, how fast you would make money and all of that product not as described. And also then um, the cancellation policy unclear that means the refund policy unclear we can see all the promises they've been making with that refund policy right and then here now this is actually a newer one um and they're they're only doing five thousand but it is ten thousand i'll show you that in the, in the contract in just a bit uh your investment is fully backed by a 60 day 100 percent money back success guarantee fully confident you'll have tremendous success with ministry of freedom just follow the blueprint and take the small daily steps small daily steps yeah if on the bizarre fluke that i've never seen before well he certainly did after starting this you don't make profits within 60 days you get a full and complete refund plus an extra ten thousand dollars on top the only requirements are you go through the first eight modules Okay, that's easy. I wanted to take the training anyways. Attend at least three live Q&A sessions or watch the replays. Well, that's easy. Ask at least four questions in the Facebook group. <laughs> okay. And launch a product on Warrior Plus with our help. Ah, there we go into the launching the product thing again. And that's not as... I mean, why, why would you even launch a product on Warrior Plus if nobody knows you? None of the major affiliate marketers are going to pick you up. I mean, you're just going to spin your wheels and nothing's going to happen, you know. So there's a lot to go from, you know, going through the modules, asking a few questions, watching a couple of webinars. No, 
No, no, no, no. <laughs> they want you to launch a product. And that's the only way you're going to get your money back or your $10,000. But if you didn't know what I just told you and you just read through that and launch a product of Warrior Plus with our help, with our help in big capital letters, doesn't sound so bad, right? Um, the best part, when you do all the above, you're going to be making money and won't even need this guarantee. But you're covered either way. No, you're not. You really, really aren't. Um, and I'll just, um, I'll just show you. Um, and this is again, why they always make you sign an NDA. These, and they're, they're always set as in, you know, a non-disclosure agreement. Ooh. And they always kind of hint at it because, you know, they're, they are going to be showing you some really secret things here and, and, you know, we don't want it getting all over the place. So, you know, keep it under your hat. You know, you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. So you're thinking, oh, okay, cool. Well, I could do that. You know, keep my lips dropped. Sure. No, 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 no. These non-disclosure agreements are just the, you're not going to get a refund policies, you know, and they're just going through all the ways that you are not going to get a refund. Okay. And of course they don't want that to get out there. <laughs> not like it is now because these are just telling people how they're not going to get a refund. And so if you don't have someone with a bit of knowledge to look at them, you wouldn't even know if you're coming or going. Let's have a look, though. So here's our Ministry of Freedom, why you're not going to get a refund agreement. <laughs> okay. Before we go into the training and setup, well, they're not going to in this agreement. The, you know, they're just going through, as I say, our action-based refund guarantee. Guarantee terms and conditions. The customer, you, must submit the refund request and supporting documents as required and outlined below after the 60th day and no later than the 70th day after the date and time of the purchase. Wow. So you think, think 60 day guarantee and then you find out it's not during that 60 days, it's after the 60 days. And then what, there's only a 10 day window in order to even, you know, ask for a refund. Whoa. Wow. The Ministry of Freedom Profit Guarantee entitles the customer to re a refund of the purchase price plus an additional $10,000 if and only if all of the following conditions are met by the customer. The customer must watch each video in, in the first eight modules of the program and take all necessary actions to the satisfaction of MOF in its sole discretion as outlined in each video. So yeah, this wasn't just a course that you sit and read through. No, no, no. No, and, and I mean, this, this, it was a good teaching technique, really, is you you learn and then you put it into use. Learn, put it into use. And this takes hours out of every day. You know, this isn't easy. It's not like a half an hour to 45 minutes like the ads say. No, no, no. But, you know, okay, as I was into it, I thought, okay, well, I, I really want to make this go. So, all right, I'll immerse myself and, you know, put all the time in. And I put hours and hours in. And that's why I say when it's like, oh, you're going to make this much money in the first week. It's not because I didn't try. I was. I was champing at the bit and I went after it. Um, but that's a lot of work. So, OK, take all necessary actions. Fine. So, as I say, already you're, you're doing way more than what was advertised, you know. And then to the satisfaction of Ministry of Freedom in its sole discretion. So what is to their satisfaction? Do we ever know? Absolutely not. No. So it's 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 up to the coin, coin toss as to whether they agree with you or not. Well, guess what? They don't want to spend $10,000. They're never going to... It will never be to their satisfaction, ever. Uh, next point. The customer either attends live or watches the recordings of at least three weekly Q&A interactive webinars, including included with Ministry of Freedom, to the satisfaction of Ministry of Freedom in its sole di discretion. Again. Uh, I, I mean, of course, I, I don't know how. It also doesn't say, it says at least three weekly Q&A interactive webinars. And I think that ended up being you had to be at three out of the five every week. So that could trip you up as well. And the customer you actively participates asking five questions minimum in our private Facebook group so Moff can monitor your progress and help you succeed. 
and it was it was like uh, it was like that per week at least and it, that wasn't difficult to do but i mean what if you didn't one week what if you're feeling off and you didn't for one week you missed asking all five questions sorry no refund we really expect you to get involved and be active with the amazing supportive community we have. We expect that those five questions to be eclipsed as you will love what we have built for you and in the interest of your success. Right. As I said, and normally that is what happens. But what if you don't? Well, it's a good way to like say you're not getting your refund. You must launch an offer product onto the Warrior Plus platform with our help, Launch Booster Package, this opportunity is a once-in-a-lifetime shortcut to do the exact strategy plan bl blueprint that the biggest vendors we know use, including us. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity. Well, as I already explained, that costs money to do, and you have to be able to drive traffic to it, and you're not prepared to do that unless, until your YouTube videos start taking off. And they will never take off because, as I said, the market was saturated. And all those little people, they're gone now. They're all gone, you know. And as I said, there was really only one success that came out of this, and that's Philip Johansson. So, you know. Oh, and you must keep a work diary. Make at least one entry using Google Docs only. We One entry? Well, it was one entry a day is what you had to do. We expect you to work at this course and be consistent. We need you to create one entry into the diary each and every day from 1 to 60. The reason we ask do Google Docs only is that Google date time date stamps each entry, allowing us to track your progress if necessary. Guess what happens if you miss a day? You're right. No refund. Now, doesn't this last paragraph sound so altruistic? The purpose of this guarantee is to ensure that you, as a serious customer, get the very best from your investment. No, it's not. It's to guarantee that they don't have to refund your money. Oh, and this, this is right nasty. It's like, this language is, is threatening. So payments, disputes, chargebacks are strictly not allowed. Well, who are they to be able to allow it or to not allow it? But here they're basically browbeating you into it. They are not allowed and the customer agrees not to do this. Oh, so by say, signing this, you're going to sign away your right to a chargeback? Ah, yeah, right. Again, by agreeing to this document, if you do open a dispute chargeback without a bare minimum contacting us first, first and explaining why, this document showing your agreement not to do so will be provided as evidence against you and your decision. Wow. Warning, it is impossible for Ministry of Freedom to be a fraudulent charge. Well, guess what, Jono? We're proving that wrong quite well with Infinity and the BS you went put people through with that. And I'm sorry, this is still fraud because you're saying that there's going to be a refund and there is absolutely no way a person can get a refund. So that is illegal and it's duping people is what it is because it's intentional and it's the intent that counts as too. It's intentional. I mean, you can see that this is intentional. So we have zero access to any payment information. This is solely controlled by the payment gateways, Stripe, PayPal, through which you have purchased. Uh, yeah, but you can go through PayPal and get a refund. <laughs> if you do decide to open a chargeback and cl claim fraudulent or not delivered, well, you can, um, you can claim under um, product not as described. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it under not delivered, but it is fraud. We will provide all evidence regarding your payment access time, screenshots, IP addresses, use of software, login times, Facebook group activities, essentially everything stored on our membership systems to your credit card company, bank, legal department to prove our case, blah, 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 blah. Do not do this. And it just keeps on ranting on like that. It's important you understand this. We do not and have not lost any fraudulent chargebacks. I mean, I know that this, like this did intimidate me. It, 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 it seriously did. Now I look at it, it just makes me angry, you know. But back then, yeah, it intimidated me. And I didn't, you know, bleh. I didn't want to do that. <sighs> so that's how he catches you, right? But as I said, we know that we can claim for fraud. So basically, why I'm reading this is to show you what BS it is 
and how he's basically saying, yeah, you can have a refund, but you really can't. And that is, he can't do that. So this is completely non-enforceable, right? Because a contract made under fraud, nothing of this is, is enforceable anymore. So that is how you can do a chargeback and, and get this um, by going under, as I said, the two things I, showed, I told you about. Um, claim under, product not as described, and two, no clear cancellation or refund policy. Now, going along, and see, I showed you in the timeline that full month where you were supposed to be doing Google ads and stuff like that. Through the course, you were told that really the only way to really make a go of this is to use paid traffic. And so then, but then you find out here that if you do that, then you don't qualify for the re for the refund. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, the third paragraph. Also, if you choose to go down the paid traffic route, not the organic method, you agree to fully waiver the 60-day refund policy. I mean, that's crazy, especially when they're really, really encouraging you to do so. Um, oh, yeah. And remember it said, like, oh, it's back in um, one of those agreement pages I showed you that said, you know, some weird fluke happens and you suddenly can't, you know, this doesn't happen for you, which we've never seen happen. Oh, you know, you're, you're, you get your money back. But no, with that in mind, oh, wait, wait, wait. Please remember that this is your own business you are running. If you don't turn up and put in the work, you don't get paid, nor can you expect to be paid. Well, that's not what you said in the sales page. With that in mind, refund requests for the following will be automatically denied, again, without exception by way of example, not limitation. So this and so much else more. So any basically any reason that you could possibly have, including COVID, uh, too bad. So you come down with COVID, you're in the hospital, and you don't make those daily um, uh, submissions on that Google Doc. <laughs> too bad, so sad. No refund for you. Oh, this man is so nasty um there okay page five taking action yeah so we can't do it for you do it yourself yeah yeah so that that's that's the that's the main points out of that <sighs> so there were so many discrepancies no extra costs oh yes there were extra costs um no, the no refund stuff and the, all the stuff, all the no refund reasons, um, that, that is fraud. And then the threatening language, well, I don't know what that is except for nasty, you know, and that product was certainly not as described. So let's have a look at Prometheus now. Yeah, so I forgot to mention, or I, I alluded to, but I didn't mention. Um, so notice the lockdown formula, that was to be the COVID relief. No, it was to, it was to feed, feed on people's fears. Now, Ministry of Freedom comes out, and it's right in the middle of December, right before Christmas, and that's when it was run. Uh, you know, and it's it's always preying on people. You've got to make more money, um, and it's it's the one time of the year when people are really feeling stressed about money, and then he puts this on to them as well. I think this is just so slimy. Oh, and guess when Prometheus came out? <laughs> yeah, just over a year ago. Um, it was right before Christmas. And then right after that, it was right after that. I was like within a month or two that Project Limitless came out. <laughs> yeah. So Prometheus, crypto wealth period, AI bots pull profits straight out of crypto markets by the minute. Yeah. So this is their Facebook page. Okay. I used to follow this. Prometheus, and it's still up actually, but look at it says Prometheus AI trading bot. Then on the left, the world's best artificial intelligent crypto robot, brand new, low risk strategy to easy crypto pro. And it's obviously done by Prometheus because that is their support line and Prometheus um, AI.tech, that is their website. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is from Prometheus. This isn't just some bloke that put up a page trying to look like them or something. Unless he's trying to drive drive traffic to their offer. <laughs> but no. And then featured Prometheus AI trading bot. They call it that throughout. Our highly optimized auto bot trading system. Does it not sound like to you that you're buying a bot to do crypto trading? 
It certainly did to me. And in fact, here it says, this is a game changer. Done for you setup. Yep. Yeah. This is a game changer and eliminates any chance of a user error. An expert from our team will get a get on a call with you and literally set up your bot and automations in front of your eyes. You'll be able to activate Prometheus instantly with no technical knowledge needed. I totally remember this as ha have, having to pay for this additionally. Maybe someone could correct me on this. I, I could be wrong, but I, I'm sure. I didn't do it because I wanted to know how to set up the bot. And frankly, yeah, it's about a 10-minute job. Well, now, you know, 15 minutes, half an hour the first time you have to do it. And then it's like hardly anything. So that's easy. And yeah, and, and again, you'd have to pay more. Just like to get your bot set up in Project Limitless, it costs more. And then to get your bot set up in Infinity, it also costs more. Even though that was most certainly supposed to be all done done for you with the Infinity one. And then they, they had the nerve to try and charge people another thousand dollars to set up their bot for them. That's that's disgusting. Anyways, Prometheus. There was no bot. Not at all. All Prometheus was was a training program. And so they introduced you to Bitsgap, which is the trading platform, and you sign up for it. You have to pay thirty bucks a month for it which doesn't sound like much but don't forget that they were also promising that you could you could invest as little as a hundred dollars and make money well not if you're paying 30 bucks a month you can't <laughs> you'll <laughs> you're gonna lose money real fast <laughs> you know but also i want you to notice that the affiliate program you earn 30 percent revenue from each friend you refer so they're saying the average monthly income is fifteen hundred dollars in us if you just uh, sign up 50 people well heck guess how many people jono was loading up to that program so his average monthly income of this is ongoing into the future this is truly passive income that jono was setting up for himself not for us, but for himself, you know. Yeah, so this is all he did was introduce us to bit, you know, make a sign up for Bitsgap. Of course, you needed that. And then, and then you could, and then it was a good, and then it was a good little training course, actually, very good little training course. But that's not what we were buying. I mean, ever. We were buying an, a, an AI, but no, there was no Prometheus AI. It was all just a function inside Bitsgap. They've got they've got these little bots that you know, and there's different programs, um, different levels of programs to however many bots you can have, so as many different crypto pairs you could have them on, and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, that was just crazy because there was no bot, and so all it was was a training course, and you could have had all of that information for free off of YouTube. But again, it was sold as a loophole thing. <laughs> it wasn't. No, 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 no. So, yeah, this is what I was referring to. With Prometheus, you can get started in crypto for as little as $100. Then scale or simply allow the system to reinvest your profits for the magic of compound interest. Yes, you can start for as low as $100. It doesn't go well. <laughs> Although I, I actually did okay. Um, About $200 and I was making about 15% per month. You know, um, that's ROI. So that wasn't so bad. And, you know, but still paying 30 bucks a month, you know. But you could see that if you put a lot more into it, it would go better. But it was sold as being as little as $100, okay? But then, and then they say in the small print, well, it's almost small print, same size, but you never really read it. We cover recommended amounts and best practices inside the training. But it says you can start for as little as $100. Then on Friday, I saw this, and this was before. Thank you guys for coming up with the Prometheus Agreement. I appreciate that. But it is just what I thought because I couldn't remember what the kicker was for this that nobody could get their, um, their refunds back. It says, specifically, we guarantee that at the very least, you'll make your investment in the program back within 90 days or get a full refund. A nominal minimum investment and proof of setup are all that's required to qualify. Well, now, reading it back then, I thought, well, your minimum investment is $100, right? Because he said for as little as $100. So, okay, $100 and proof of setup. Well, I can do that, right? <laughs> okay, 90-day money-back guarantee. 
Now, first of all, before I get into the rest of it, lose the, well, you lose the right to cancel the contract. Um, wait, as soon as you access said contact, you lose the right to cancel. That seems pretty cut and dry to me that you're not going to get a refund because as soon as you access the stuff, that's it. Um, and then it says this measure is in compliance with the current Office of Fair Trading Acts. <laughs> Keep that in mind. I'm going to come back around to this. I swear I will because it's funny. <laughs> um, but now you drop down to the lower yellow stuff. Performance-based refunds must have invested up to but not limited to an investment of $10,000 or more to receive a full refund. Really? Yes. You had to invest at least $10,000. So after paying the $1,500 for Prometheus, you then had to invest $10,000. And where in the sales pages does it say that? So again, we have product not as described. There is no Prometheus bought, even though on the, all the sales stuff it said there was. And it's just a course on the functions on how a platform works. That's all. And then you've got the confusing wording that says, you're, there's no way in heck you're going to get a refund back. Unless you're the one guy that invested 50000 I bet that one guy is like Jono because he would have money to put like that to put in. And then, yeah, he would have made a nice bit back. <laughs> but the, for the poor schmucks putting in a, a small amount? No, you're toast. <laughs> so remember that was according to the Office of Fair Trading? Well, they're closed they closed back in whoops go away go away go away they closed back in off oft was going from 73 to 2014 they closed in 2014 well in 2014 jonah armstrong wasn't even a glimmer in warrior plus's eye he didn't start digital affiliate marketing until 2016 so, yeah, 2016 going into 2017. I have a whole timeline on this guy. So, yeah, I don't know where he's got that from, but not good. So here's the contract. So, and again, they're saying as soon as you access said content, you lose the right to cancel according to the Office of Fair Trading Acts, which no longer exists. So, you know, if he tries to get you on that, he can't. Um, and then in order to qualify for a refund, you must submit proof in a viable two-quarter trade record format. I don't even know what that is. History of every bought slash trade performance that represents you've taken the necessary work. Every trade? Oh my God, they happen multiple times a day, every day. I don't even know how you would, how you would do that. Made, made a concerted effort, digested the course contents in full, and consistently and correctly implemented your chosen strategy or strategies across this time period again who is to say what is done correctly or not you know as long as your bots are working and they would be this measure is in place to prevent piracy oh it's in place to prevent piracy no it's pr again it's in place to prevent you from getting a refund in the form of customers purchasing, digesting the information, and claiming a refund. Performance-based refunds must have invested up to, but not limited to, an investment of 10000 or more to receive a full refund. So again, people, when a contract is fraudulent, you all of this stuff is moot. and But you can use this stuff to show how fraudulent it is. OK, so that is why you would want to use this stuff to prove the fraud case right there. And then one thing, too, is you might be thinking, well, well, Ministry of Freedom, that was, you know, uh, Christmas 2020. This one was like November, December of 2021. I mean, if I have to like if I buy something from the store and it's uh, not as it should be, it's 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 broken, whatever the store won't take it back, then I can go back to my credit card and get them to cover it. Okay, but that's usually only for a limited period of time, like 30 or 90 days. But guess what? In cases of fraud, which this is, then, oh, the statute of limitations is much longer. Um, I did look it up on the internet, 
And I saw a lot, you know, 15 years, 15 years, 15 years. But it very openly said, you know, it varies from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. So not only just country to country, but I know in the United States from state to state. So that's something you'd want to check out. But just, I mean, even if it's not exactly 15 years, that Ministry of Freedom was only two, a bit over two years ago. Um, you know, this one this is over one year ago. Uh, you're, you're still good to go on the fraud club charges if you if you want to you know get your money back i'd get it while the getting's good because it's getting to be a bit of a run on the bank here right now so then we go into infinity yes the passive trading income for everyday people what about this wasn't a fraud i mean we're gonna do everything for you we're gonna have our own traders doing all of your passing for you then we're going to, which is the hard part, and you're going to need us to do that, do that for you. <laughs> and then we're going to um, put on a bot. We're going to monitor it for you, and you just sit back, and you earn all the money. Wow. Basically, what you spent the money on is you spent $2,500 on an EA, and that's an exorbitant price for an EA, and then you got some half-assed instructions in a PDF file on how to how to trade Forex and how to work in EA. Because, oh, you don't actually have to learn how to trade Forex. Well, yeah, that's about the same as, well, you don't actually have to know anything about trading because we're going to do everything for you. Yeah, you do need to know Forex. You do know how to know basic market structure. And, oh, there, there's a ton of stuff you need to know. Anyways satisfaction guaranteed infinity either gets you results or it doesn't cost you a dime with our ironclad money back guarantee right you know another profit guarantee and you'll get approximately five thousand dollars a month profit gee speak up from infinity have has anybody ever made five thousand dollars a month profit have you even made it to your first payout yet have you made a dime how much have you spent how many challenges have you bought? Oh, so there's $2,500 and $1,000 for each challenge. Yikes. And I'll bet you right now that nobody's made it to their first payout. And if you have, I'd love to hear from you. As always, my Telegram contact is in the description at the bottom. Um, I'd love to see proof that anybody got to their first payout. Payment proof. Yeah. So, whoop, there we go. Here's into the agreement. Now, there were several forms of this agreement. This is the 40-day agreement. Then there was a 60-day, and then there's a seven-month that pretty much everybody got turned over to. But the 45 and the 60-day read exactly the same. So 5.2, the refund. The client acknowledges that the initial purchase for the services before subscription is refundable after 45 days of service. Okay, so it's not within 45 days like you might normally think of a 45 degree, 45 day refund, but no, it's after. But will result in client being banned and blacklisted from the service provider system for any further purchases. So, okay, well, fine. If you're going to get a refund, you don't want access anymore. So that sounds fine. <laughs> 5.3 subscription to the service. The client acknowledges that if they elect to subscribe, look at that wording, if they elect to subscribe to the services, they shall not be entitled to a refund, to a refundable as provided for in 5.2 above, but they are allowed to cancel the services at any time. Excuse me, when you signed up to Infinity, you not only check the box saying that you agreed to all this crap, but you also, in the small print, said this, this purchase comes with a subscription. And so just by, if you bought Infinity, you had to have bought the subscription. There was no opt out of it. It was just in the small print saying, hey, this is coming with it. So there is no if they elect to subscribe, there was no election to subscribe. You were subscribed. So these two, again, are unenforceable because they're fraudulent, but it, you, you use it to prove fraud. That they, they put this wording in there on purpose so that they could try to weasel out of paying the refund. Okay? Now, 
the seven monther looks a little bit different because then like okay 5.2 says the same thing only seven months okay and then 5.3 4 and 5 all are like all the things that you have to do you know basically snort an elephant out your nose and then 5.6 says the client acknowledges that if they elect to subscribe to the services, they shall not be entitled to the refund provided in 5.2. It's the same as paragraph 5.3 in the previous one. So even if you have managed to spit that elephant out through your nose, you're not going to get a refund. Okay. And the client acknowledges that there will be no other exceptions to claim a refund for their payment to the Infinity System other than meeting the criteria outlined in this section of this agreement. Right. So... Again, this is the why you won't get your money back thing, you know, and that's, that's it. Ah, I've also had a question about, uh, some having uh, questions about getting your money back for, uh, real funding program. <laughs> I just came across this. This is in the, I think it was in his video in. Yes, it's in his video because you've got the um, the watermark in the back. So he said, worst case scenario, if you would lose the account. So far, this has never happened to us or any of our members. <laughs> I'll bet it's happened a whole crap load now. But if it does, you simply make a new one and we will cover the costs of the reevaluation test for you on the house. So this is what was promised to you in the video. Okay. That they would cover the reevaluation. Well, now they're doing no such thing. Because here we've got it here. The account used to accept your original payment has been shut down. So there's no way that we can process the refund. The only way to do this is for you to submit a chargeback. If your bank needs any cooperation from us, we are more than happy, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, they're not giving refunds. They're trying to get out of that, get out of it again. Again, fraud. And now that now even the limited support that they were giving the Zoom calls, they're fizzling out now too. And why? Because Jonas is busy get, getting off into his next new ventures, just like he has been all the way along since Ministry of Freedom. So I'm waiting until I can get a copy of the uh, of Project Limitless, the contract there. I want to have a look at that. I'll report back to you guys when I do get that, okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe and you have a great day, great evening. Darlene out.